Hi all, welcome to this SBC squad builders for the European and African tour. What we find is really useful and in all honesty for the rewards you're getting it's actually really worth doing so because Fast Leagues be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend, all the links are down below for playlists in the channel and social media links as always. So we've got four nations to cover in the African and European tours. So let's jump into them and hopefully get some decent rewards for this. From Ivory Coast, Morocco, Nigeria and Senegal for the African to really easy in all honesty each of them and for me personally the rewards look quite decent if you can get them all done relatively cheap. So what I've done is I've put in three bronzes in with two Ivory Coast and one Polish of which is a packed option. And I went with extra Laza, um, kind of just in Polish option mainly because I felt it would be relatively cheap. Kodja and um, Triore of the Gijon version, not obviously the CSK because that's slightly more expensive. Um, but quite a good balance of bot and packed. And for four um, Ivory Coast players, it's not too difficult. We keep it relatively cheap. And an Electrum players pack, I'm not sure what that is worth for a value. Morocco next, in my opinion, another easy route. I just went Lagu to mainly because the three Morocco players that I had practically were in that team, and it just enabled us to build up a relatively cheap team in all honesty. I feel um, obviously the league itself might go up a little bit, but just nice and easy and nice and cheap for a premium silver players pack. Um, Nigeria, another easy one to go with in all honesty. I went of the option of the Danish league, and I'll just buy these players back um, in no time. The, I completely slipped up that the four Nigerian players were um, all of different leagues so it didn't help my cause but um, if you have the any Nigerians of like one league it kind of helps and kind of in this instance you could easily build a, around it as well and only one player bought um, and it's one loyalty so it just shows you I've got away with this and good flexibility um, with having enough of one league to just build around and then Senegal for the last of the African tour, um, this route is relatively easy, I just went Lagu 2 on one side and went with the Polish on the other which was lucky because of the Senegalese players that I had were of those leagues and then a different league for the goalkeeper which was Sai, the Monaco um, goalie which keeps it easy and a lot of these players are um, packed, um, decent amount packed and decent amount bought so for what you get, two rare players, it's not too difficult either, I just went in Bodge and Endoy and then had a left mid that just, he was rare but it was just gave us enough of a rating to work with. So the African Tour is done for an all players pack and I would say at the moment I'm quite happy. Premium Electrum players pack, I don't know what that is worth for value, maybe say 25, 30k. And European Tour is next, Italy for this one, nice and easy. Um, I went a mix of Serie A or Calcio A, Calcio B and the BBVA like La Liga Santander you've noticed that Ryan Bertrand is at right back that was just because I needed a high enough option in reality I could have went a silver right back from the like League 2 uh, Championship or even Premiership but I just wanted to kind of make sure it was all the one league and just a high enough rate and enough chemistry but Sirigu's the only player I'm actually kind of regretting that I've gave up for this um, the Osasuna version but I'll probably pack him or um, buy him again relatively again soon so premium gold players pack for that so a good start then Netherlands another easy route um, good way about this is try and keep it um, I've went with a Bundesliga 2 in the centre mid position and then Bundesliga with the right mid well the right wing and the right back but I've then made sure that um, Brooks has that strong link to the goalkeeper, centre back, and the right back. But then the, the the Dutch players are all kind of different leagues, except for um, Classy and Affly, who will probably go for a fair bit just due to the respective league. And then went with Alaya and Jetro Willems at left wing and left back. Same um, nation, same league, but not obviously the same team. But it works a treat, and I would say. If um, most of these players you should have in your club so you'll get this sorted that's a rare Electrum player pack so you've now got two of them to play with and then Portugal this route I found a little bit annoying but I have went with Portugal um, I've got quite a few Portuguese players I've um, made maybe a bit too many well I can't really say too many I went with five in the end but it was just because I had a Portuguese centre back that just 
I went with the silver option it just gave us enough um, chem, also enough to help the team and then Kuyate was just to help link in with um, Jose Fonte who is a high rated option now it just kind of shows you that I've got a lot of low rated players like it's 275s, 72, 76 and 276s and a 77 and it just requires an 283s and an 84 which just kind of bumps up a little bit I know Rui Patricio and that you wouldn't naturally sacrifice but it's still done and then Spain for the last route is really really easy this is probably the easiest of the four um, European tours and you get a very worthwhile reward and a premium gold players pack best way is have your cam and the centre mid of the same league and same for the striker and the right wing um, you can do it the other way about but that's just the way I did it um, All basically the four of them are Bundesliga and then the rest of the players are just different leagues um, like, like second tier of Spain like Russia and EPL and it just works relatively cheap and a 45k pack for your effort so that is that done for the both respective SPCs and a 50k pack of a rare player pack for your rewards so it's actually really worthwhile in all honesty I would say for 10 packs I'm hoping for something decent from these packs so all players pack is the first one I don't expect the rare to be a gold it's usually a bronze or a silver um, it's definitely not the gold Alcoba don't think I have him, but if I do then we'll get rid of him anyway. But Ward for that helps us we've got a gold right back now that is English, but all useful players for SBCs. Gonna be doing a lot of um bulking up that transfer list I can tell. Right, premium gold pack next, seven point five, kind of working up the ratings. M Mauro's uh, Ma yeah, Mauro's I was about to think what was his first name for a minute there. But um Oh, useful and a hunter. That is definitely maybe he just made his back back. So I can't complain with that. Um, premium silver players back next. I think that's an eight point five. Um, Tejera, I don't know him, but it's a decent rated Spanish centre mid, so it definitely all helps. And a lot of useful players I see in um, Japanese, Turkey, Japan. And it's definitely a worthwhile reward pack there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, what shall we do for the next part? We'll do the 15k's next. 15k pack. Couple big, couple decent flares, but no reward in the form of schedule of Galatasaray, who I've packed quite a few of. But Georgic definitely useful. He helps out nicely. And then a handful, five players that will in Vallejo will go for a little bit due to him being Spanish. So, well, I hope for a little bit. Um, premium gold players pack. What can we get? Oh, that's a big player. That is a good. F oh, it has to be Roland. It has to be a discard inform. But I don't care. It gives us an inform. The informs is what matters. And a decent pack with Cast um, Castileo, who is an upgraded version. He will also go for a little bit due to the SBC. And a lot of these players just will go into the transfer list. Right, we'll go through the Electrum pack. Uh, in fact, we'll do the Prime 45k pack. Yeah, that was worth the hassle. Not really. Oh, it actually was worth the hassle. Why does an 83 get such a small flare? An 83 and an 82, that was a good pack. And Reedwald, so that was a very good pack. I will take that. And Samaris. So, lots of useful players in that pack. And we get measly flares. It baffles me. Anyway, Electrum pack. At least the rare is gold. I'm not going to Rakitsky, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I might be wrong. So we've got him. And then lots of more useful players. I see MLS, I see. And that's a good, useful pack. And Figueredo as well, who I was funnily enough going to use in the SBC. Premium Electrum Players Pack. Oh, come on. Oliver Torres. I don't think I have him, but he will go for a little bit um, due to the SBC, but I'm not going to use him. As I said again, EPL, Grisicki, that helps out Hull. And then more players into the transfer list. We're getting full here, as it seems. Was that a delay? I don't think it was. And it provides us like Remy. Not a great pack there. He is decent, no, I will not deny, but I don't know if he will go for that much. But lots of useful rares. 
Um, turkey and Lugu won a spotted there, so that's not bad. And Mascarell, he will go for a little bit as well due to the SPC. 50k pack is the last one. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, two big flares, two big flares. Oh, Kaylor Navas, that just helps Real Madrid massively out that route. That's what we want, so all oh, no. all, Navas and Ramsey round off and lots of useful 82s, not bad. Hopefully you found this useful, let me know in the comments down below what you got in your packs and your rewards. Take it all and I will catch you all later.